Hey, look, we're back. Don't worry, last left off, we had beaten um, the two bounty hunters, voiced by Azula and John DiMaggio. <laughs> She's done so many other voices, but I think Azula's probably always going to be her most prominent. Anyway, and we also we met Tom Kenny, once again being voiced by voicing Scaramouche. Not Scaramouche, you gotta say it, it's Scaramouche. Either way. Before we continue, I do want to talk about things happening in the video game industry first, before we get into it. So, Phoenix Immortal, that game that's clearly just a Greek version of Breath of the Wild, got its trailer. And while I don't think the music of the trailer fits the theme going on, it does look like it's do it is looking up to be a fun game, so that's a thing. Uh, nothing really else to say about that, it just looks like a fun game. And then we have Monster, the, the energy drink is forced the game God and Monsters to remove the word monster from their title because they and they're saying they did it because they don't want people confusing their drink for this game because people when people think monster they think God and monster no it's it's just it's just more stupid company great we, we we know this man no one is gonna think oh man I'm uh, I'm just gonna google monster and God and monster is gonna come up first that's just not how the world works stupid greedy corporate assholes Anyway, let's go kill Scaramouche. Again. Uh, technically, we get, funnily enough, now that I think about it, technically, Jack didn't kill Scaramouche. He destroyed him to such a point that he was just a head, and then Scaramouche was killed by Aku after just getting his body because Scaramouche was like, dude, Jack doesn't have his sword anymore. And he traveled all the way across the world to tell Aku that. Only for the, by the time that he told Aku that, he did have his sword back. <laughs> what the crap was that animation? And yes, I'm sticking with fists. I'm sorry. Go in the houses. So this is basically the first episode. Ow. I can parry rockets? Come here. So this is basically the uh, first, was it first or second episode of season two. I think it was either, it was one, either the first. I should parry that. Give me that arm. Oh, it was either the first or second episode of season cool two where he. Yeah, it was the first and second episode where he fought uh, Scaramouche. And he was still able to beat him because, you know, it's Samurai Jack compared to a random robot. Literally, the only robots that had that he had any trouble beating were four Samurai Ninja robots that had any longer. Haku's magic heavily infused into them. Oh, hi. Fine, I'll change weapons. Are you happy? Are you happy? I need to change into a different other practical. That's about to break. Nah, I'm not gonna use that. That's gonna break soon. Give me... Thank you. Stop! Oh, cool. I can just get a little stop animation for those guys. Oh, Jesus Christ, just one shot. I guess this is the thing that you guys are weak to, probably. Fuck you, Aku. <laughs> Someone put way too much effort into these statues! Oh my god. Oh. I just wanted to break him. I didn't even think I'd get a chest out of it. We I'm not complaining, though. What are many of those I've missed? Let's stay here any longer. Also, if I'm fighting every prominent enemy that Jack has fought, or most prominent enemies that Jack has fought, does that mean I'm eventually gonna fight Ashi and her sisters? Oh, we'll see. 
when you do a puzzle without even thinking about it. Better be watching out. Everything around here is ruined. There's nowhere to hide. What's happened here? There's a gigantic golem destroying the city. That must be Scaramouche. Oh, I'm sorry. Scaramouche. I still can't get over the fact that... That, uh, what's his face? Tom Kenny cursed. That is just such a weird thing to me. Come here. I want that gun. Oh, I don't, can't take that gun? That's fine. Give me that. Still can't take that either? Whatever. Useless ass bounty hunters. Oh, by the way, those other bounty hunters, the black and gray one, those are really, those weren't in the show. Those are really just uh, palette swaps added for this game. Oh, yeah, the lights do go out on the wall when I do that. Huh? Optimal movement options. I see you. Four. I'll get you in a second. What's up here? One of the Scotland's daughters. We're ready. Jack, Dad wanted me to make sure you got this. A lightning spear? An interesting spear that does moderate damage and lasts nearly a lifetime. Closes distance on gun-wielding enemies quickly. Okay, so this spear was used in the very first episode, where we see Jack riding on a motorcycle, and there was two alien-like creatures being attacked by a shit ton of the Beetleborgs. At this point, Jack is fucking jaded because he's been here for 50 fucking years, and he's still a good person. And he does save them, but he doesn't even say anything as he drives away. So he drives up on the, on the, with the motorcycle, and he uses the lightning spear to spear one, and then twist it, and light, lights up the lightning, and shocks it up. It's really cool. Uh, yeah, this is literally just a better one of these, so. Thank you. What's next? No problem. So a YouTuber I like to watch, anyway, recently made a video about Bomb City Rush. I love his I love his animating so much or his editing so much. It's so good. If you ever want to just see like really good high tier and uh, editing, check out Pinoy. P I N O Y. He he is the editor for um what's it called? What's his face? Uh, Yasuo, the streamer, Yasuo player guy. Oh, interesting. So wait, what about this one over here? No. Do I have to use something? Do I have to use? Seems like it. I have to use a range weapon. But yeah, his his a lot of his interests line up with mine, and I just really like how good of an editor he is. If I ever get prominent with this whole YouTube thing, I probably gonna hire him myself. I know I'm probably not, but you know, make it. Oh, so it's a case of, I need to destroy these statues now, which will open exits later. Hmm. Question, does he run with... No, he just runs with a sword out. Hmm. Yep, so the only the only sword you have special run in is... Hello! Nice. That thing was in half. That is a sentient being. That's not a robot. And I cut him. I straight up bisected him. Hmm. Maybe I should use spears. That was pretty goddamn cool. We're ready. Be careful, Jack. The Mongol is coming for your soul again. No matter how much danger I find myself in, I cannot let him take my soul. His minions have taken many souls. He can't. You cannot lose to him. Yeah, that was also one of the reasons why he, uh, oh wait, uh, it's also one of the reasons why Demongo wanted Samurai Jack, because, you know, literal strongest warrior, able to literally and effortlessly kill Aku, imagine if Demongo took that soul. Fun facts, uh, Mongo actually wanted to, wanted to kill Aku, because, you know, he wanted to be, ah, uh, he wanted to be, like, the ruler of all this, so he literally, tr he wanted to be sold to kill Aku, but, 
but Samurai Jack defeated him, so... Yeah. Funnily enough, even though he was killed in the original four seasons, in the fifth season, he pops up in a single cameo episode, where it's like, hey, I'm here to get, get more souls to... I'm here to get more strong warrior souls to, you know, continue to do my thing. And then the bar that he went to was filled with a lot of old people that Samurai Jack's defeated. And it's like, well, I see there's no worthy souls here. I'm out of here. Ow. Ah, damn. This is not the end, Samurai. Fine, I didn't want to kill you anyway. Let's see what we have. I need to get a new bow. Can I get any more skills? Escape throw, martial arts expert. That's what I want. Because I have... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I can't spend any on anything until I get this last instant guard upgrade. That's more important. There we go. No. And I clearly, very clearly need a bow. I very much doubt I can get this without a bow. No. You have to have a bow? No. You got a gun, but not a bow. Damn it. If I knew how rare these things were, I would have taken care, better care of the one I had. Sell this. Sell this. There ain't no use for it. No use for this. Sell this broken handgun. Sell all these assault rifles except for one. Or machine gun, sorry. Sell one of these. I'll sell two of these. And then one of these as well. Hopefully I'll find a bow and maybe we'll come back and get that. Hopefully. Can't get up there. I need a bow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, there's more of you? Ow. I'm literally cutting these guys in half. These aren't robots. These are heavily implied to actual people. Why are they so weak, though? Get posed on. Which means I have to come back to the stage later to get those two. God damn it. Yeah, I literally cannot come back up here. to give you this please take it i need a bow i very badly need a bow i feel so bad breaking my last one now how hard is it to find a but we are in future times still i'm gonna complain about it because i want one now <laughs> 
所说。That would instant garbage, so I can dot it. Bang. No, I didn't even hit him. Take you out. Grab all this. Come on, be a bow, be a bow, be a bow. Bow? Bow. Hey, nice. Hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish the current stage I'm on, or finish the stage currently, and then I'm gonna go back so I can go get those amulets. Hello. Ow. Ow. Oh, I see what it wants me to do. Easy. Literal shooting gallery. Still, I must have more of those. No, please. In fact, can I actually... Hmm... Is there any way I can maybe, like... save data. If I do this, where will it take me? I want to check. Resume from last checkpoint. Yeah, I just want to see exactly where it'll take me. It'll take me to here. And do I still have a bow? I do not. So I need to finish this area and get to the next checkpoint. <laughs> I want to do that, but fuck it. Thank you. Take you out. Take you out. Grab this. Thank you. So yeah, next checkpoint first, then I'll go back and do that. Thank you. Good. Very good. And now that I know bows are apparently rare as fucking du Bows are more rare than actual crystals in this game. I just want to put that out there. Oh, really? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Get it first time beforehand, and now I can't get it at all here. There we go. Third time to charm, the saying goes. Oh, because I just did it out the gate, I just get the reward. Neat. And it's still the same crystal. That does confirm, however, that all rewards are set. Concept of bows literally being rarer than actual diamonds and shit is funny to me. Okay, so that's a checkpoint. So now we should be able to go back to here. And let's check if that was a checkpoint. It is a checkpoint. Okay. Hope you don't mind me starting this episode over. Or starting this level over, I should say. How many stages are there? Oh yeah, this is just for the difficulty. Please tell me I get to keep my bow. Please tell me that wasn't just all a massive waste of time. Please. Thank God.
Uh, you know what? No, 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 no. With how easy, with how fucking rare bows are, I'm gonna stick to these. Thank you. Oh, enemies respawn. Yup. Ah, I'm just trying to get those spin out. Get that. Thank you. And because I know where everything is, I can now speed run. Gold. Oh, so you can farm for golds. Neat. And the amulets don't respond. Got it. Alright, I need you to make me look like a sexy man. Or Aku, why? Don't question it. Aku! Aku is such a strange villain. Because he constantly bounces back between affably evil and extremely demonically evil. In one regard, he'll do things like, I will literally end your entire race's existence because you slighted me. And other times, it's like, I won't kill these kids even though they're completely disrespecting me because reasons. And it's like, Aku, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life, man? I have some just questions about what you're doing. I guess when you're the ultimate evil, you can only be Let so be evil for so long. Life. And even you have morals. Shurikens. Did I get shurikens from the first time? I can't remember. I'll take this. Thank you. I'll take this as well. You. Come on, I need that gun. Oh, I'm pulling guns. I kicked that man to pieces. Those are not robots. I'm literally like kicking them to such a degree they explode. That's kind of horrifying. Then again, it is implied that Jack's like a superhuman. Oh, speaking of superhuman, here's a fun little fact. So, everyone knows the Mulan movie sucks, right? It's utter garbage. Not even the Chinese people, not even Chinese who were the movie, the movie was pandered towards like that movie, right? And I recently found out... So, I, re I went back and watched the original Mulan to make sure it still stacks up. Spoilers, it does. The original Mulan is still a good movie to this very day that holds a lot of themes that uh, a lot of people can respect. Either way... There, you know that one scene where Mulan falls off uh, off the edge of the mountain with her horse and Liang Shang or Li Shang, and then he she saves herself by shooting an arrow up the mountain. One of the three guys catches him. I can't remember his name. The the squat like what brawler looking one catches it. Uh, after she shoots it back up the mountain, and she oh I can farm out lightning spears. Oh, I, I did not realize you could effortlessly farm in this game. But anyway, as I was saying, she uh, he catches it, and they all jump on the rope to stop her from falling off of the mountain. And they're all, like, struggling to pull it back up. And then my boy, Shien Po, casually, casually comes over and picks up everybody and just casually lifts them to safety. First off, that's the world's strongest arrow. Second, that's the world's strongest rope. Because I did the math, and... See, I did the math on it because the math teacher, I like shit like that. So I, I, was, I was like, let me check and see how much weight he uh, he was probably carrying there. And for frame of reference, I did the math and that was about 4,000 pounds total. Because he didn't just pick up the forest and pick up Li Shang and Mulan, no. He also picked up... He also picked up all six of the soldiers that were on the rope. So this man, based on my calculation, lift, lifted about 3,800 to 4,000 pounds without breaking a single sweat. There was no grunting. He just casually came over, picked him up, and just care, uh, casually lifted him back over the mountain to safety. Mind you, the current world record for world's largest, uh, heaviest weight deadlifted is, um, what's it called? It's about 500, 5,000... Uh, it's about 501 kilograms, or that's about 1,200 pounds. So Lian Ch uh, uh, Chien Po 
casually lifts about two tons without breaking a sweat. He's literally the strongest person in the fucking world. Your master can suck my dick. In fact, your master's daughter did. Hey yo! It's heavily implied that uh after they fought those bugs that stripped Ashi naked from her outfit, they uh they did the thing. They they did the nasty. I saw so many comics about Scarabooch telling Aku about that. It was just so funny. Dude, I, I, could, I saw I saw Ashi going to town on a uh, on Samurai Jack. <laughs> and it was just like, uh, you're literally telling this man that his daughter went to town on his little enemy. You're gonna he's gonna kill you. Which he did. Anyway. Okay. Oh wow, I can just hold it forever. Take notes. That's a very weird holding animation, though. Okay. Take notes, Jin Sakai. Samurai Jack's the better samurai. Am uh. I supposed to kill you? Oh yeah, just killing you makes this easier. We go. I feel far better about my life now. That was totally Yo, worth it. Hey, can you repair my bow? Because apparently you only get like two in the entire game. Thank you. I did get some extra weapons, right? I did, yeah, I got an extra lightning spear. I can sell this. Oh, I can buy the fist upgrade. Cool. Uh, sell this extra handgun. So, yeah, yeah. I'll sell the the revolver and keep the handgun. Sell these assault rifles. I need to sell some of my items. Hot water that he uses to make tea. Keep the crystals. Training. Is this the max level? Honed edge. Yep, max level. So I have a basic combo there. Three-part kick there. I need the fist combos for my level ups to get that. So X X Y for this one. Literally a sure you can grab Kai attack. Triple attack in the air. Fist downwards attack. Drop kick, rushing attack. Oh, I have a dive. Oh, I have a dive kick. Interesting. What's the difference? Okay, that's a dive kick. What's this one? Okay. Literally sledgehammer fists, double jump into. Oh, I can do it from here too. Oh, so it's just on the way down. I understand. Cool. Literally a dive kick. Cool. So I'm, I'm ah. Oh, because I killed the guy in the roof, they're mad. How do you expect me not spam this? Come on, it's a literal dive kick. Kinda of hard to aim, but wait. But never mind. It's totally easy to aim. Kick. That was a long game. Hey, hey, uh, the samurai. You wanna, you wanna help me out here? I mean, I don't need it, but look at that guy. He is rusty and mad. Oh, get out of here! I'm guessing if I had done that without shooting him, I would have not gotten all that fresh shit. Die, kick! Die, kick! 
Die kick! Yo, you the most times you get a new move in the video game, you can't have one spam it. This is you right now. I think I have invisibility frames while I'm doing it too. I'll stop. I'll stop soon, I promise. Just give me a few more dive kicks. After I finish this room of enemies, I'll stop diving. Until then. Come on, look at what this damage is doing. And it's just unblockable. Look at that cool ass pose. They just should not have given me this. They knew exactly what they were doing when they gave me this tool. I'll take all the bullets. Thank you. Whee! I'm sorry. Yeah. Was there another pathway behind me? I can't remember. No. I do remember that there is a... Wait, wasn't there... Oh, no, I already got that amulet. Ooh. I forgot to look for the thing again. Whoops. I did talk to you, right? Yeah, right. Thank you, Haggis. Oh, so it's... Okay, so it's just a max limit on that. Yeah. Cannibal. Not implied these guys are robots. I'm fairly sure they're not either. Hey, stop. Oh, I, I blocked the first one. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I have one silver bow. I'm not going to lose this. Here's a real question. Will I get an additional silver bow by opening this chest? I will. So you literally can just farm items. Understandable. I don't think you can farm crystals and stuff because I'm pretty sure... Oh, here. I'll figure it out right now. So can you also farm items you need to equip? Yes, you can. Or items you need to upgrade. You can also farm those. So this is literally just Ninja Guide and like slash Devil May Cry almost. So the major challenges and stuff you can only get once, but it seems like items like that you can farm infinitely. Understandable. Let's actually make some forward progress now that I wasted a lot of time. I guess it technically wasn't a whole waste of time since I was getting items I would need. Hey, Rothschild. Yeah, chap. Are you alright? I am. I'd be better if you give me this crystal. It does help. Thank you, Rothschild. What happened I wonder why they didn't include the other two dog companions. I think one was like a border collie and new. One was a border collie and one was a terrier or something. Then again, yeah, it's always been implied that Jack is stupidly OP. Hell, even before he got a lot of his other training, he was able to take down an entire battalion of uh, African warlords with the... So one of his friends that he met during his travels when he was a child was an African village kid. And he was able to take down a lot of warlords who were quite literally trying to kidnap them. He took them down using their weaponry when he was like eight. Sure, they weren't empowered by Kaku's a magic or anything, but this is a child taking down African warlords. Multiple of them. Or maybe there's African slavers. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm trying to say. Jack, I got something important to tell you. This must be important. The golem is strong. When he's garden, bash him. That's what I do. Garden? Bash him? Bash him when there's an opening. It's on par, of course, for a hero like you. Bashing is par for being a hero. How do you have so much energy? 
I have no idea, laddie. Isn't it amazing? Yes, I suppose. I mean, the dude has like 30 kids. The dude's got stamina for actual fucking days. What's up, Scaramouche? I'm coming for you. I wonder if they're gonna copyright this episode because of the music Scaramouche is playing. Alright, so it is implied that I should be using a hammer like weapon. These have the exact same damage Alright. Last long. Ow. Okay. Ow. Jesus Christ. Okay. Going to town. Start doing ah uh, master civil samurai difficulty. Go to find Aku quick. Go on to the grapple. What is that? Oh, there's gonna be this is gonna be a common enemy for now on. Oh, okay, good to know. Oh, I can't get any more arrows. That's fine. I don't want to use my bows. They're so fucking breakable. It's so goddamn rare. Okay. Next. I think I've had the strangest dream. A funny looking robot from the future came here playing a flute and kept talking on and on and on and on. Scaramouche, I cannot escape. <laughs> we are ready. Anyway, see you later. Later. Why is there two healing things? Eh, whatever. Am I gonna fight Scaramouche now? Nope, I'm gonna fight green versus blue guys. Oh, these guys were... I'll tell the story on those guys in a second. I'm not sure why they have those kind of clothing for some reason. Thank you. So those green versions, they were actually, they didn't have the outfits like that you see them having now. In their episode, it was one of the episodes after Ashi and Jack started to really showcase their feelings for each other. Again, I'm still kind of iffy about Star Wars in general, but eh. But after they showcased they have feelings for each other, right? They were on a train filled to these guys, and for whatever reason, they all had lettering, like literally massive letters on their chest, showcasing uh, what each of the characters, uh, they had giant letters, so like A, B, C, D, etc, etc, for, again, whatever reason. And one of them, and so, a certain amount, like, were lined up in a line that said, Kill Jack. This was in Season 5, obviously, because they said, we're kill. Oh, yeah. This comes just a basic enemy. Oh no, he's throwing rocks at Yo, get your uh, Geomancer ass out of here. Yes, we can start upgrading other Check things. It, Let's see. I guess we don't need to sell any of that. I'm not selling the bows because of how rare they are. I'll sell some guns. Need more money. I'm not really sure why they ever had lettering that told Jack, you know, if he's about to kill them, but whatever. Let's upgrade my sword, but why not? Even though I barely use the thing. Fun fact, music's getting copyrighted. If too much of his music plays, your videos get copyrighted. Or copyright claimed, or content ID'd. It's annoying, but whatever. I don't care enough. Probably should, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later. Oh, I saw the well. Is there a ch way to check how many of these things I've gotten, by the way? I found... I need to talk to them two more times. Six more daughters. Eight more to samurais. I need to open two more chests for this. The Mongo troops. Oh, 20. Okay. I believe it's 50 total. Whoa. 
And jump over that, you walk very quickly. Really? Oh, because it puts me in a 2D section here. Dodge that. What? I'm I'm actually upset. I'm tilted. I'm so tilted. Can I frame perfect on these? Oh my god, stop, Jack, please. Thank you. 29 more to go. God damn, man. What a stupid reason to lose so much life. Fire pad, man. Oh, it's not a shuriken. I should probably be a little more sparing with him. How are you gonna do everything else in this game fast and then climb ladder slow, Jack? Highest hacks do I need, by the way? Throw moves, sword key attacks. Have I done? No, I haven't. I'll use here then. Back up. There was also only one shinobi in the in the uh, cartoon. Not sure why he didn't send more because that was honestly one of more of uh, Aku's deadlier minions. Here. Again? I must have <laughs> your destruction. I see. saying to me that I can go over there. Ooh, cool. Cool attack strength. go in there, but I need to activate the ability to go in there. Which means we're probably going to be scattered all around here. I wonder where that red one we got at the very start opens up. Maybe there's one at the very end that you find all the statues for you get inside. Oh, wait, you're not dead. Ah! Hey, you mind using your arm? Thank you. Thank 
you for your payback. Oh, hope you don't mind. Gold up there, don't care about that so much. Can't get through there. This one is here. I need to get all the way around to get to that one. Make sure to look around. I can see an item down there, I think. Why I can't... I understand from a gameplay standpoint why I can't get through these doors, but the fact that I can't just literally bust them down with the obscene amount of strength that we know that Jack has is just silly to me. It is a, then again, it is kind of... I think I've talked about this before, but the whole function over flavor thing. Again, I understand the function of it, because it's so hard to nail down the concept of flavor properly. And I will never run to come and not be able to do it. It's super great. Can I grab you? The reflex is cool. These guys don't seem to grab me. Oh, hi. Yep, so it doesn't seem like these guys can even grab them, I believe. I can grab them! They do not grab them. Oh! So it wants me to go down there, but first we need to head up here, grab this gold, and then second, get that. Bang. Is that 22? Since I know what's in them. Move over, Legend of Zelda. You got a new box opening champion or object opening champion. Over here. I'm fighting Scaramouche here. Samurai. Can I buy any other training? Yeah, I can. Might as well. I don't really see much else I can spend my money on. And now that I got the one I really want to focus on. Yep, this is the Scaramouche Arena. Bring it, you bastard. I do like the detailing on him. Like, you can see, like, actual rust and shit. About time you showed up. I decimated this city hours ago. I was worried those minions got you before we could tango a go 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 baby. Too bad for you. I do not dance. No, Liar. Sure, baby. Liar. That's an actual fucking lie. When he was in the rave episode, he danced like a fucking god. Why did you twirl there? Beat those feet, babe. You're a natural. Beat it, three, beat it, do it, do that now. Who created? <laughs> Who would design a robot like this? So that dagger, if it hits you or if it hit Jack, it would have made him explode physically. Because ah. <laughs> Yeah, that dagger sends vibrations through whatever object it is, and its harmony, Woo! and its harmony causes things to explode. Ow. Come on. Time to change up range weapons. Handgun. Bullets. His thing could not control the dead, though. But you know, it's fine. Dude, 
sword. Thank you. Oh, that's so fucking cheap. Out of here. And I need to change my weapons. Give me back my samurai fist, please. Thank you. Yeah, one guy. Let me take you out before you attack me. Uh, ow. Ow, God, Scaramouche. Ah. Yo, disrespectful. Oh, I did that way too early. God. Alright, alright, I respect it. I respect it, Scaramouche. Let's go. That also doesn't help. I'm not changing difficulty. It also doesn't help that, uh, what's it called? There's no, um... Health, or anything around the arena. Oh, there is. I just used it stupidly early. Oh, God damn it. These noises that he's making. Now, so I shouldn't be using moves that lock me in animation too long. Now, okay, so we're three point combo. There. Come on. Change. Change, 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 change. I don't want to aim at you guys, but it's fine. You out. Starting to get the hang of this guy a little bit. He has three part combos a lot. Ow. Damn. I want to aim for this guy. Alright, oh, I have a lock on button in this game. I should use it. I can't hit him here, John. Nope. Don't you just love it when enemies just get pure invincibility crazy when they even during phases where they should? I love it. My favorite mechanic in video games. Ah, oh, darn it. No, that doesn't seem to be very Ram is not good. Don't mind me blocking an actual dagger with my bare fucking hands. I'm using an item. I'm cowering out. Cowering out super hard. I would like to try Hex. Come on. You come on, get down here! I wouldn't. He's. I wonder if he's grabbable. He's probably not, but I'm gonna try. Ow, really? Out the gate? Fuck you. Ah! 
I fear as much. Oh god. Hey, let go! Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> what? Yo, he hurts! He hit so hard! Jesus Christ! Die! God, he actually hurts. He's not dead, by the way. This is what happened in the show. He cut off his head, but he then he crawled his way back to Aku as a just a disembodied head. You were hoping for one of Aku's pendants? <laughs> Nada, babe. Nada. Yeah, Aku got rid of those, so I guess there's no reach in that gal pal on the other side now. You're stuck in here, Daddy-O. So much for your codependent relationship. <laughs> That's the voice of Spongebob. I can't get over there. Further down the rabbit hole you go. Beady Bill, I don't have that solo. This, this cannot be. Foolish samurai. <laughs> no. Aku. No. <laughs> I didn't deserve that. I got my ass kicked. Crooned his last tune, baby. Or babe. Russian guard is an effective way to defend and still move. I've learned this move. Yeah, I've been using that as we can see here. Hey! Bashi? Aku? You foul demon! They're gonna, it's gonna make me fight the daughters of Aku, isn't it? I have it? been here before. Yep. This is where I faced Ashi. And her sisters. Now, wait, I'm gonna let him keep speaking first. Nope, more bounty hunters. <laughs> Done. It's like, are you kidding me? Really? This is why I gotta hit handle. Oh, uh, let me beat these guys. Dive kick. Dive kick. He looks so disappointed. He's like, fam, I have killed so many of you guys at this point. You guys aren't even a threat. Um, but this episode turns out that there was of course when you have any kind of NC there's always people who praise it so the daughters of Aku are literally the daughters of Aku um there were some women who were fanatically indentured or er, fanatically devoted to Aku so much so they made giant shrines of him and they constantly trained so that they'd um be able to take down Samurai Jack it's not implied why they want to, it's just implied they're a cult that just praise Aku. And Aku, being rather impressed by, like, their devotion and the statues that they made towards them, he literally came and he gave them a pool of his essence. He really dropped his essence into a goblet for them and was like, hey, you guys have fun with this. And their meaning of that was, we're going to ingest this. And when they ingested it, they all then had daughters, or one main chick had, a do had four, was, uh, was it four or five kids? Anyway, but it turns out they had the literally had the powers of Aku. That's why Akashi was able to do at the end of the show was able to do all the things Aku can because she literally has Aku's blood in her. Anyway, I think for right now that's a pretty decent place to stop. When we come back, we're likely gonna face the daughters of Aku who are going to likely kick my ass. Either way, I want everyone out there watching to have a good morning, evening, day, or night wherever you're at. But for right now, I'm out. Later. Watch out. Back, back to the past and I'll ride you. Jack, Jack, Jack.